you don't care and secretly that I don't care mentality get girls wet and my already know we're back with another crazy video today guys and today I'm gonna talk about why you need to be nonchalant when dealing with women so before we start this video make sure to like and subscribe a lot of women gravitate towards nonchalant guys those little stupid ass games that women play doing things on purpose to get more attention from you the main reason why women gravitate towards nonchalant guys is because they cannot get them off center or starting problems in the relationship for no reason just to get a reaction out of you or trying to even like over validate her once you become nonchalant none of those games are gonna work and that intrigues her she's like why isn't my games working on him like that why can i not get this guy to do what i want him to do she tells you oh i'm gonna leave you right now and you're just like okay cool fine all right you don't care and secretly that i don't care mentality get girls wet when you be nonchalant most of the time it's kind of like you're feeding her scraps and essentially what feeding her crumbs is feeding her scraps just giving her your attention and pulling it back telling her you like her once and she doesn't hear that in a month or two so now that puts her in a position where she's always going to be chasing your validation you see with the nice guys they're too worried about how that girl sees you so they go out the way to do the most when they really don't have to do that at all i remember back in high school back in my simping days i had this bad little shorty that i really liked so i did the most to get her i took her out bought her food up break listened to her problems talk to her just doing the most to get her to like me but i didn't realize over there she was fucking with another dude so i'm just like to her why are you messing with him he doesn't even do half the stuff i did because back then i didn't understand i could not grasp the concept of less is more the next day i went to school a guy pulled me in the bathroom and said hey yo let me have a talk with you he was just like that girl you're messing with you need to stop messing with her i was just like why why bro why do i have to stop messing with her she's a kind of a good girl and he's just like good girl good girl he pulled out his phone and showed me a whole video of him getting the guap guap 2000 while shorty was talking to me and remember this guy didn't have to take her out didn't have to buy her food didn't have to listen to any of her problems he was just a guy that really didn't give a shit about anything so she ended up chasing his validation more than mine because this girl already knew that i liked her because i already made it clear so i wasn't really a challenge no more so with that being said number one why you need to be more chalant shorty will stop playing those mind games once she plays them and knows that they don't work on your ass she will stop but she will not stop if those mind games actually get to you because she knows what can get your reaction she knows what can get your attention so if you don't let none of those things bother you shorty doesn't have any advantage above you over here we play checkers not chess Two, shorty will be more attracted to you being nonchalant and mastering not letting anything get you off your center makes a woman more attracted to you because again it makes her chase your validation she wants to know why you're not like the other men feminine and easy to get angry she's trying to make you jealous with another guy you don't care because you know in the back of your head you got options if she wants to keep playing with you she's out like that now i'm not saying be nonchalant to a point where you let this woman walk all over you i'm saying be masculine while being nonchalant at the same time okay she said something disrespectful you're not like oh my god why the fuck did you do that shit why you gotta be like you know if you do that one more time you and me are not gonna be together no more simple as that and also checking her unemotionally will get that cat wet 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 next one is you get more respect when you're not quick to act on your emotion and you do not make your emotions run you as a man more people are going to respect you not just your girl but more people in general because they see that you're the serious person and only talk to when you're being talked to you're gonna know not to mess with you because you're quiet most of the time you observe you watch you observe observe how shorty moves you don't listen to what she says if she says she's loyal you don't just take it word for word you full out analyze her you look into her if she actually has loyal traits so there's a whole lot of benefits of being nonchalant so how do you become nonchalant you said i definitely got you covered my g but before we go on with the video make sure to like and subscribe so the first one is stop worrying about things you cannot control you cannot control if she's gonna cheat or not so why are you worrying about it see if you actually sit back and analyzed her to see if she's actually loyal you wouldn't have to worry you cannot control if she goes to the bar or boom boom gets wet and she wants to smash the next one is master not having any shame about anything you can also pretend with this one but it's better if you master it people want to talk shit about you and say you're this or you're that or you're bad at this sport you should stop playing or this job is ass why are you doing it master not giving a shit they are laughing at you and you're just like okay whatever once you get that down pack you will see how far you will excel in your life you won't be afraid to take the next step to better yourself because you have no shame you already mastered it but he says your shirt looks like ass and you're just like yeah i'll buy you one if you want why do you think a lot of these influencers are so popular like kai sanat because they're shameless they could go in the store do some dumb shit everybody's watching them and they don't care meanwhile you're watching it getting secondhand embarrassment that goes to show you that you care too much you care about what people think about you and that will hold you back 
heavily in life. Next one is learn to control your emotions day to day. Instead of getting upset all the time, why don't you stay calm and relax and actually think about the situation? Because getting upset is not going to get you nowhere. Getting upset at Shorty because she did you wrong is not going to change the fact. She still did you wrong. That's why you see a lot of these people end up being in jail because they let their emotions override them. Now you're going to beat up your girl because you couldn't control your emotions. But once you master staying stoic and analyzing every situation, you will always come out to be the winner. Okay, Shorty did you wrong. Wrong. she cheated on you she was being unfaithful now let me leave her pull back let me store those emotions inside and don't let them loose on her and actually make my life 10 times better then when she sees you in 10 to 15 years you're successful as hell got your money up got your swagger up got your looks up body good with a bad 100 bad ass shorty but you can't do none of that if you let your emotions get to you and you harm her bro because you're going straight to jail locked up behind bars so with all that being said, make sure to like this video and also subscribe. You already know, NMI out.